What's good, YouTube? We back with another video. Today we got... Got my boy Mr. Beast. Face your biggest fear to win $800,000. Are you getting over all of your fears, no matter what it is, for that money? For that money. Like, I'm to my... I don't care if it's snakes, insects, roaches, spiders, public speaking people, whatever. For that check, $800,000. For that check. Bees. I'm talking about... Ooh. Let's get to it. To experience the scariest moment in his life. I'm just gonna let you know, I'm not afraid of anything. We'll see. You cannot scare me. Seal them up. You have to survive 10 minutes with a thousand spiders to move on. Oh. Release the spiders. Oh. Start the top. 10 minutes with a thousand spiders crawling on your face, bro. First off, I want y'all to comment below if, if y'all would quit immediately if y'all had to have spiders crawling on your face with no clothes. Bad skin. See me eight hundred thousand. I close my eyes and just think about that money. I'm trying to tell him eating them. Oh, eat eating them. it. Man, that's true. The reason we're doing this is because Max said no matter how hard I try, I can't scare him. Would you Damn. say you're scared? Damn, Brian got. Oh, that spider huge. I ain't gonna lie. Look at that spider on here. Every crack. time I see this, it got me. Itch and then he got roaches, not roaches, he got grass, not grass, all, but crickets in there with him. Oh, ah, getting there a little bit, a little bit. Mm -hmm. And this is only one of many fears Mac will face in this video. Oh, God! And if he can successfully face all of the fears, he will win $800,000. I'm not gonna lie, this was way more gnarly than I thought it would be. Three, two, one, lift it up, lift it up. Oh yeah! Congratulations on passing the first challenge. Let's go. And then if them spiders escape, fool, they gonna have, they gonna be, they gonna be spider infested for two years. Spider <laughs> was everywhere. No more. But Mac has to finish all of these fears if he wants to win that eight hundred thousand dollar prize. Six fears for eight hundred. I know you're blindfolded, but trust me, just walk up this ramp. Raise us up. Ah. Why are you taking a knee? <laughs> what is what? Ah. Just stand up, stand up. Oh, on, you're fine. You're fine. Oh. No, 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 no. All right. Okay, Jimmy. you can hold on to it. That's cute. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, okay. Mac, take off your blindfold. <laughs> Welcome to challenge number two. Oh. The next beer. Bro, imagine taking your blindfold off and you don't see, You know you in the air, but you don't see nothing but black. You don't know how high you is. And you less, you it in. I don't know if that's scary you. Then seeing how far you are, I think that might be less scary than not see. If I see too far, yeah, I'll be right. probably more scared. You're right. Oh, God. You're right. It's the fear of heights. You're going to stand on the end of that plank, unclip this, so you'll be connected to nothing. No, nah, dude. Press that button, and then free fall 200 feet. And without knowing how, trust, I'll catch you. No, no. You're no. shaking. That boy said, stand on the plank. Press the button and fall. Free fall for 200 feet and not know how you going to get caught. So you basically just risking your life. You hope you putting all your life into another man. No parachute. No no kite. <laughs> no nothing. Straight air. Straight air and trust. Straight trust on the YouTube. Yeah, of course I'm shaking. I'm going to fall off of this and without a harness on. Yeah. I can't even see the ground. Oh, God. Be careful. Mac, I'm just gonna tell you, even though you can't see the ground, you are very, very high up. Oh, oh my god, Mac! I thought he was gonna say he was very safe. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say safe too. All you have to do is unclip it and press that button. Oh my god. I want you to look at me in the eyes right now yeah. and tell me that I'm gonna fall, fall and it. something's gonna catch me. <laughs> something will break your fall. I promise. He said something. Oh my god. Your You're fall. literally Is you putting your trust into another man? Mr. Beast for 800000 I know he can't be from the home, but I man. think I'd do it, though. But I ain't gonna lie. He just said, he just said, and trust something will break your fall. He ain't say, I'm gonna catch you. Something gonna catch you. He said, something will break your fall. Yeah. yeah. Attached to nothing. Oh, my God. The clip is gone. Oh, my God, dude. Thank God. <sighs> You don't have to do it. Oh, if no. you want to, you can tap oh, yeah, out and just admit that you are wrong and you do get scared. No way. God, dude. Ah! Is he going to do it? Comment down below. You think he completed this challenge? Or you, or you, or he quit? To say, you look pretty scared. Look at, look at no oh, my bad. God. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Godspeed. God. <laughs> Speed. Zero. What y'all think from the kitchen, man? He look like he finna fall straight to the underneath the world, man. Yeah, like he was going under the earth. He might be over with. He might he might not make it, bro. It look like a this is like the get out movie. Like when dude just falling, you don't see oh my, nothing. It's like, it's like a dream. When you when you having that dream, you just fall. Next thing you know, you jumping in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you did it. He's a psycho. <laughs> and if you're wondering who my psychotic friend Mac is, he's actually a contestant from a previous challenge video. And sadly, he ended up losing $800,000. But now he is on challenge three of six. The man, Mr. Beast, gave him two times to win 800000 man. Let's see if he get right. Because me, <laughs> don't give me that chance. To attempt right. to win Every that money back. time. Here we are. Yeah. The next challenge. Once you get a five dollar car, put eight hundred grand inside of it. <laughs> As you can see, this car is pointed towards a lake. I'm guessing you're gonna want me to drive the car into the lake. No, that would be dangerous. As you can see, there's no gas pedal. Obviously, you can't drive it in the lake. Yeah, I'm so stupid. Why would I think that I could drive it into the lake? Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. stupid. Yeah. Which is why we're gonna drop him in the lake. Bring in the crane. Oh, oh, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Oh, it is getting real now. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my. Uh, all right, Mac, listen up and listen good. Once we drop you at this lake, the car will quickly begin to sink. And in the back seat is the 800 grand you've been competing for, divvied up into eight duffel bags. However many bags you can save from this sinking car determines how much money you'll continue competing for in this video. And whatever you leave behind is gone forever. Oh my God. That's OD. How many, how many bags y'all think he gonna get at? I don't know, bro. He gonna, get, like, he gonna get at least three out. I know me. About two, three. So I'm, him. I might get three out. Two, three. Probably about two. Three. I'm lying. I'm lying. I you can't wouldn't swim. get one. I can't swim. I, I, do. I will never tell you that I'm scared. But I'm about as close as you can be right now. That's the feeling. <laughs> I can tell. Before we drop your car, I'm going to give you one offer. If you quit right now. And admit I scared you. I'll give you $100,000. And we call it even. You can, grab, you can grab one bag and get that though. One bag. But you still gotta finish even if you do get one bag. A hundred thousand right now, walk away. You did what? Two challenges? One challenge? Mm -mm. Two challenges? He's going. I gotta keep Yeah, going. all right. He's not gonna take it. There's not a god. I knew that was going. <laughs> hey, no one take that. I knew he was gonna do that. I lost it all last time. It's not happening again. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Drop him! You've got about 20 seconds to break out of that car before it sinks under the water! Back! The car's going under! Hurry up! Come on! Just smacking that I didn't think it was good. What if he would just die? Like he would just drown and just die. Like it would have been so tragic. Come on, they would have had to get that boy out of that car. Oh God! Oh. 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 That car is gone. That sunk so fast. Oh my God! What you doing? He's alive. Hey, oh. back. No, let's go grab that back from him. Oh. The scariest part about this challenge is every second the car sinks deeper into the water, making it harder to get to and harder to see. So if Mac wants to keep all of his prize money, he really needs to be moving as fast as possible. But as you can see, that's not going to be easy. Open the back door, man. What's wrong with him? He's trying to grab the jump from the grab back through yank. the front. Saving bag. Oh my god. Oh. After bag, after bag. Oh. Back, you 
are crazy. But on top of the fact that the car is sinking deeper and deeper, what Mac hasn't realized yet is that the last two bags of money are actually seat belted into the back seat of the That's evil. The man just evil, man. Why he doing it? He torturing him. Yeah, I already got the challenge hard. I know he facing his fear. Then you want to see. This ain't even no fear, though. This man just doing a real <laughs> obstacle course. Like, what is this? Hard. Dude, Matt could be in an action movie. Holding your breath and swimming 40 feet. You know, most swimming pools, like you go to somebody's crib, go to the, you know, be like 10 feet. Eight. Eight, probably like eight to 15 feet. You talking about swimming 40 feet down in the lake. How do you even swim 40 feet down? It seems like it'll be hard to even move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then all that pressure on you. Then you swim back up with $100,000. With that same air that you went down with. What you went down with. Honestly. But he was like a borderline Olympic swimmer earlier in his life. Which <laughs> see, see, we do it something here in gym because ain't no way a regular person doing this. Yeah, you can say that. Olympic swimming is crazy. Well, I did this fear. Wait, but it's like 40 feet down and the water is freezing cold. How can he hold his breath that long? Oh, you got it in the bag. Bro, you got 700 grand on the boat. Just stop now. No. Just stop now. Just leave it on the bottom of the lake. We can do the next. No! All right, he doesn't care. At this point, the car was literally at the bottom of this 45 foot deep lake, making it almost impossible for Mac to retrieve the last $100,000. Yeah, you know, it really cannot. It's black down there. There's nothing. Are you officially calling it? I can't see the car, Jimmy. It's gone. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh the boat's tilting. Wow. You are very athletic. Do you like this video better or the other video better? Dude, this video is like 10 times as intense. I know. And even though this looked very crazy, there was actually seven safety divers on standby to make sure Mac didn't die. That's what it all makes sense now. Nah. Nah, That's who opened the door for that boy. You feel me? Your prize is now 700 grand. But from here on out, it's all or nothing. Mac has to face the three remaining. Now he playing with 700,000. Three remaining challenges. Y'all think he gonna make it, bro? Years to Tom walk out of low. this with his 700 grand. This one might be the hardest one. Ah, Just okay. go on. <laughs> is it grosser than spiders? Just come on in. Inside this room is a metal box. In order to progress, you'll need to reach inside the box and pull out what's inside. And before you put your hand in the box, we're gonna need you to sign this. It just basically says that you can't sue me if anything in there hurts you. Huh. Just sign right there. All right, we got it signed. What is it, like an animal or something? Uh, there are things in this box. Uh, Just step up here. You put your hand in one of these holes. Okay. And there's a thing in here you need to pull out. Oh, dude, that is freaky. As, uh, okay. I'm just gonna make sure it's moving. What y'all think in that box, man? It gotta be something that's like, he ain't gonna hurt nobody, so it gotta be something like super slimy or maybe like a... Mm -hmm. Imagine, imagine... Centipede? Imagine having to sign a waiver to do a challenge, bro. Would that's, that scare you? That's terrifying. Stop! Okay, go for it. Ah! It clearly has not touched him yet. No matter what, once you grab onto it, you have to pull it out. What a snake. <laughs> what you grab is our brand new Beastable Wars. <laughs> we got all new branding and a. So a dude in the back. Mm -hmm. But that was Mr. Beast. He'll throw in the commercial in with the cool. Better tasting formula. Let's try it together. I am not going to go soft on you. I'm going to tell you honestly what I think. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. The new formula is milkier, creamier. We have our all new crunch flavor, the milk chocolate flavor, almond flavor, my personal favorite, and peanut butter. These new and improved Feastable Bars are rolling out now. Give us a couple of days to get them on the shelves in your local Walmart, Target, 7-Eleven, and I cannot wait to see what you think of them. All right, Mac, you ready for the next fear? Jimmy, I've been in this exact same room, and I've had a bunch of money on the line before. Yep. I'll tell you what, if you give me 500 grand right now, I'll walk. $500,000 food after you just picked up a candy bar. Huh? <laughs> he did four challenges. Pit did the weakest one yet to answer five. I think Come Mr. Beast gonna give it to him. Be realistic. Do you guys hear this, man? Jimmy. Who asked for 500 grand? 400 grand. No. Hear me out. If you said 200, maybe 250, I would have considered it. All right, how about 350? No. All right, let's go. He said 350. Mr. Beast turned it down. And he like, let's go. 
Next challenge. <laughs> I knew he'd break. <laughs> All right, I might have lied. Oh, that one wasn't actually that mind. hard. But this next one this is actually cool, based cool. on one of the scariest things I've ever done. Oh, there's no way. I love how quickly he pieced it together. No, 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 no. There is actually no way. Come on. There is actually no way, Jimmy. Is it that obvious what it is? What gave it away? The tombstone with your name? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. For the next. Being buried alive is just like almost inhumane. Challenge. We are going to bury you alive for 24 hours. Ah, Whoa. no Whoa, way, wait. dude. And you can get out whenever you want, but you don't know what time it is. And if you leave before the 24 hour mark, you lose everything. It's a good fear. So imagine being buried alive with no sense of time. So you just got to be in that hoping you would make it to 24 hours for you to keep competing. That's so deep, bro. And you know time go by slow as I don't know what when you bored, like, claustrophobic. That's OD. Yes! For once, I'm on the other side. <laughs> yeah, bro! Oh my gosh. It might get a little cold. Oh! No, and don't mess it up. I'm trying not to. This is from my nightmares, man. It feels wrong being on the other side of this, but also fun. Oh, what the? Oh, this is so freaky. The funny thing is that the timer hasn't even started yet because you aren't fully buried. It feels wrong saying this, but can you bury me faster? As you wish, Mac. Bring in the extra hands. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Man, me and the black coming up for the extra hand. Let's officially start the timer. Looks like 24 hours just started. I'm already freaked, so this ain't gonna be good. Mac, see that rope above your head? Can you pull it for me real quick? Is this a trick? No. Next time you pull that bell, we will dig you up. And if it does not say above 24 hours, you lose everything. I will burn your house down. <laughs> and also the $700,000. Yeah, I was like, everything? Everything. Sweet dreams, Mackin. Uh, don't throw the walkie talk. Oh, uh, was it that predictable? I already know they threw it, and I'm not even up there. It's so much more fun to be on this side of it. And to make sure Mac doesn't die in his own grave, He's gonna be wearing this wristband that directly tells us- He said it made sure Matt doesn't die in his own grave. His heart rate and vitals. And no, it does not give him any way of knowing what time it is. Basically, I need to figure out how to keep track of the time. So here's my strategy. I could try to stay awake for two hours, sleep what if he, for 10 hours. What if he counted, like counted to 60 a whole bunch of times? That'd be a, you'd be entertained. <sighs> And then I would be halfway done with the challenge, and I could just do that twice. And That's slow. That'd be good. With Max's plan now in place, his first step was to pass the time for the next two hours. Well, it's no feastful bar, but I guess it makes hunger stop. But it was pretty obvious he was quickly getting bored. I wonder how long would they let him go before they would stop it. Like, just say if he was in there for two days. Or three days, and he ain't know he's just still in there like it couldn't have been 24. They, what are they gonna be like? All right, man, you've been in here too long. Or they just gonna let him go for probably, two days? I don't know. They probably let him make a week. A week <laughs> yeah, gonna be honest, not much going on inside this room. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. And Mac being bored this early is a pretty telltale sign that he may not be too good at this. Because already within 45 minutes, Mac's idea of time was horrendously off. I think it's been about two hours. I'm gonna try to get about 10 hours of sleep, which should put me Man, way low. At the halfway mark. Even though the pro to sleeping is it will help Mac pass the time faster. First night sleeping in the coffin. The con is it's very difficult for him to keep track of how long he's been buried, especially when he's not even able to stay asleep for more than 30 minutes at a time. I have no idea what time. That's a great question, but in that rope too, they got that rope running from in the ground all the way above the ground. And oxygen, like you just don't get oxygen on the ground. You gonna run out unless it's some type of hole that's not covered. This right now, and a little creeped out. <laughs> Hoping for the love of God, it's been over 12 hours. I think that's where we're at. And because when I did this challenge, I was constantly woken up by my friends, Jimmy J. I thought I'd give Mac the same joyful experience. Wake up, Mac. Are you okay? Whoa. Dude, you look like you just got hit by a truck. It kind of feels like I did just get hit by a truck. If I was to legitimately guess how many hours in I am, I think it's like... 
The longer Max stayed in the coffin, the less he seemed to know what time it was. Might be hour 16. And because we like to build a lot of suspense on this channel, for the remainder of this sphere, you're not gonna know how long he's been in there either. So I'm just looking at, I think it's oxygen under the ground, bro. Really? There's yeah. Dead people on that be alive. Some, and then there's something about fossils create oxygen or something. I don't know, man. Y'all go Google. Can you get oxygen on the ground? It's some weird stuff going on under there. And even though Mac wanted to ensure that he was going to be there long enough, it was clear the claustrophobia was getting to him. Being in this coffin is scary. Like, that. And the longer I'm in here, the worse I feel. It's a crazy feeling. But eventually, when we saw Mac begin to grab that rope, we knew he was thinking about ringing that bell. That's the face of somebody that's about to ring this bell soon. There's no way it's been under 20. How long y'all think it's been? Y'all think he's gonna get it right or wrong? Like, comment below. Ugh. We don't, no one knows at this point. Four hours. God, I'm nervous. <laughs> I've been in one of these videos before. And I've lost everything. And the only reason I even am back here at all and got a second chance is actually because of you guys. Me screwing up that second chance all comes down to if I know for a fact it's been 24 hours. I really hope I'm not making a mistake right now. Max, buddy, pal, how you doing? Jimmy, I'm pretty nervous. I don't want to accidentally reveal the time, so no comment. Jimmy, I don't know how you did this for seven days, dude. I do not feel well in here. Yeah, have you got to the point where you start to lose blood flow in your leg? And you feel like your back is gonna fall out of your body? <laughs> Jimmy, I'm thinking about pulling this thing. No comment. Jimmy, I He put him through that torture. And he knew his spine was gonna fall out of his body. <laughs> we'll give you 50 bucks back if he- 800,000, man. Y'all save 100,000, not because he lost 100,000, but you doing it. Tell me what time it is. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I got a comment for you. Just get a shovel ready, all right? Three. Oh my gosh, he's about to do it. Two. This is it. Comment below. Did he do it right or wrong, man? Is he? Is he? Did he over the time or under? He probably lost that seven hundred thousand. One. Oh! Stop the timer! And now that Mac Break has made his decision, there was just one last thing I had to do. Do you mind if I tell them about Shopify while we unbury you? You have got to be kidding. Shopify is a platform that helps entrepreneurs get started down the path they want. Sometimes starting a business can be scary. Like getting dirt. covered in spiders or being buried alive. I can tell you, you do not want to be buried alive. But Shopify is here to help. If I hadn't started my own business, I wouldn't have been able to go to all the crazy places like Antarctica and make videos like these for you guys. And just like millions of other people have done with Shopify, you can get started today on your business right now. Max, do you want to know how long you're in there? I have a feeling you're not gonna tell me until you dig me up. You are correct. And one of the perks of owning my own business is I can do fun things like send one of my friends to the Super Bowl. Back, Carl and Nolan each have their very own football for sale. And whoever's football sells the most, I'm gonna give you tickets to the Super Bowl. And I'm gonna bury the other one alive. All that matters is that you download the shop app and vote for one of them <laughs> by buying either Nolan's or Carl's football. And now that I can afford this video, let's see if Mac loses $700,000. Hi. Hi. Hey, Jimmy. There you go. Welcome to the outside world. Now that you are out of the coffin, let's see if you are in there for 24 hours. If the uh -oh. number I reveal is lower than 24 hours, then you lose 700 grand. Ah, uh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Three, two, one. Oh, he made it. He did that shit, bro. By will. Ah, that is oh. what I am talking about. Uh -oh. Scares me. Congratulations, Mac. Let's this means go. that you are now just one challenge away from winning all this money. Let's go. You should probably go shower first. Look like yeah, I smell. Bad decisions. You look like a sloth. Well, uh, <laughs> not great. So far in this video, Mac has shown me it is very difficult to scare him. But the final challenge of this video may just be Mac's worst fear ever. And that's because. Because the final challenge of this video is a one-to-one -one recreation of the challenge he failed on last time. The last challenge. Hold this in front of your face. Don't look. Hey, I'm not looking. Don't look. I'm not looking. All right, keep your eyes closed. Don't open them. Don't open your eyes. Keep walking. Don't open them. Don't open them. All right. Open them. No! No, 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 no,
doing that again, dude. Come over here. Oh, Jimmy! I do not want to do this again. Sit in here. I do not do where the again. cameras. You're about terrified. Terrified. Oh, you. okay. Oh. The last challenge is the fear of failure. Oh. We recreated the set. The fear of failure is, is really crazy. Where he lost $800,000 in this video. And like last time, the rules are extremely simple. There are four stages. Each has its own cookie with this shape on it. You have to cut out all the shapes without breaking a cookie. And if you do break a cookie, you lose $700,000. And for you specifically, it will have been the second time it's happened. This is from my nightmares, man. I do not want to be here again. Well, good, because I have an offer for you. You can quit right now and walk away with this 300 grand or Risk it for the biscuit, and if you finish this final <laughs> risk it for the biscuit <laughs> challenge, win seven hundred thousand oh, dollars. This is take that three hundred k, bro. Why are you continuing? Then he just said, "Hey, I want to be there." I'm telling you, me, I'm out of there. He just asked for three hundred and fifty thousand, probably like two games back. I'm out of there. Now you getting three, and you at the end, guaranteed. I'm guaranteed that. Actually, like a very, very big decision. Yeah, because that's not quite enough, is it? It's less than half. But if you lose again, that is $1.5 million lost on this set. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> oh, he's hitting him. That man lose $1.5 million. Mr. Beast make $20 million. Man, better take that 300. <laughs> Mac, I know this is hard, but you're going to have to make a decision here. Do you want to go home with $300,000 or do you want to risk it all for this final challenge? All right, fine, I'm doing it. All right, to be honest, I'm glad. Oh, I want you to win this whole thing. If you look at this iPad right here, this is exactly how long it took Mac to get through all four stages last time he did the challenge. 34 minutes and 54 seconds. So that's exactly how long I'm gonna give you again. Starting now. Don't break the cookie while opening it. Breaking by opening would be crazy. Here you go. He'll probably lose instantly. Even though he's going quick right now, it might not be in his best interest, because if he accidentally snaps the cookie, he loses. 34 minutes. Oh wow, you did it that quick? Scan, 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 scan! It's green. This is a much different deal than last time. So I'm gonna take my sweet time cutting the circle out. Look out! He is flying through this. Why is it so much harder to open? Probably because you're like freaking out. You know what I mean? It's really crazy how Mr. Beast build these sets though. It's like he in the middle of like, he probably dead. <laughs> open it. Okay, hold my iPad. Okay, it's very hard to open. <laughs> what are you guys doing? I don't want to be responsible for that. <laughs> be careful. Theoretically, oh, back strategy I makes sense. Even, Getting through the easier open. shapes fast. What you think? What y'all think the what y'all think the, the uh easiest shape to do? The circle cause ain't got no corner. If you break them edges, that that's that circle got I feel like it, I feel like if you broke this little break, if you broke the triangular break straight out across. You know what I'm saying? Save all the time for umbrella, which he lost eight hundred grand on. You literally still have thirty two minutes left. Yeah, well I'm gonna need all thirty two of those for umbrella. That is borderline impossible. Move out. Oh, oh I'm moving. Yes, though, then you wanna jump field. Open it! Allow me. Oh. <laughs> clap, 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 let's go! Mr. B kicked it though, now he wanna Mac, step on Stop you. breaking my set. Bro, you guys gotta make these easier to open. <sighs> There's just no need to rush. You're literally using no time. I mean, you might need to go Don't slower in this one, because it's a lot trickier. This one's pretty hard. Not even close to Umbrella. He got I'm trying to get to the race before I start racing. Fans, 30 minutes if you want it. Two God, it's so hard. Take this. Ah, <laughs> oh my gosh. I Wait, know he ain't just play so disappointment, fool. Oh, and it broke. Oh, well, I don't it. need oh. that anymore. I uh Um That's a disappointment, bro. Dang! Maybe it didn't break all the way through? Ooh. Okay. Um Oh, seven hundred thousand. He still had gone. twenty-nine minutes left. Oh, he did the first two in four minutes. He had thirty minutes left. Oh my 
God. I did that twice? Here. Give me your hand. No, Jimmy, please. I don't want to leave yet. No, Jimmy. No, dude. I don't even, like, I don't even know how to feel right now. Like... Right here. Come on. <laughs> I have, like, so much time. Yeah. I'm still... He need to share the, he to share the cup of tea, like a few of them. Just not sure why you were going so fast. The umbrella. I just I just know that umbrella, the umbrella takes forever. The umbrella. You gotta pay attention to what's in front 700, of you, bro. 700,000. The umbrella. You gotta pay attention to what's in front of you, bro. He hey. Got, he went to trying to change the future, and now he ain't taking one step at present. a time. Present. Stay in the present, man. And pay attention yeah. to the future. Okay. Mac told me in this video that there was nothing I could do to scare him. And you after putting music. him through spiders, a sinking car, and more, I really did start to believe him. Godspeed. The only thing that ended up getting to Mac was the fear of his own failure. Godspeed. That crazy boy, but jumped out to the doom. He jumped out the cliff twice in this video. Second time, he wasn't even scared. <laughs> Second time, he wasn't even scared because you could not see the bottom. Man. man, hey, like, comment, subscribe, man. That's the video. Make a bit. Huh? Oh. Yeah, man. So. Send us any other videos y'all want us to uh, react to. DM it to us. Yeah. Stay yours, man.